is the car of the future. Welcome aboard the Mercedes EQS, the most advanced luxury car currently on sale. The EQS is essentially a cutting edge electric version of the S-Class and as a result, Mercedes has crammed everything it knows about technology into it. There is so much to dig in here from the remote control parking feature to the insane hyper screen infotainment system and don't worry, we'll be showing you all of its best tech features in this video. It's even got the longest range of any EV you can buy which is useful for jumping between time zones at warp speed. Let's get all the basic stuff out of the way first. What is it like to drive what is essentially an S-Class of the future? I mean, I've never driven a car like it. I've driven a lot of cars. This feels very different in a wonderful way. So this is the Mercedes EQS 450 Plus AMG line premium plus long name but there are some good numbers that come with it so we've got 328 brake horsepower 0 to 62 time of 6.2 seconds and a range of 453 miles 453 453 which is the biggest battery that's ever been put in a production car although let's be honest if you want to get 453 miles you're gonna to have to switch off all the air con all the heated seats and probably drive 30 mile an hour but it's doable <laughs> it can be done now it's not the most powerful EV available but this is the entry-level model if you want something with a little bit more pizzazz if you will then you can go for the Mercedes AMG EQS 53 which is so powerful it's actually more powerful than the Lamborghini Aventador SV oh yes the thing is is even though this car weighs like just under two and a half tons it does shift along pretty well i mean it's not going to knock your socks off but it might surprise some sports cars or some hot hatches at the traffic lights the EQS really isn't about going fast though. It's been designed to make every journey as seamless as possible. And it's better just to kick back while being massaged by those comfy seats and playing your tunes through the 15 speaker Burmester stereo. And when you do that, there isn't much that comes close. This may well be the quietest car I've ever been in. I mean, there's just no noise. It feels as luxurious and as well isolated as an S-Class, but there's no engine noise, there is no vibration. I mean, you can practically hear your own heartbeat in here. I feel like I'm driving a pillow. The ride is very nice, and actually, the air suspension is sponging up all the little lumps and bumps that you get, and you don't even really feel it. So you know when you spot like a lump and bump in the road, and you kind of go, oh, I'm going to feel that or I'm going to hear that. No. I mean, may maybe like a massive pothole you might be able to feel, but this isn't bad at all. This is really quite lovely. And the fact that the steering is really light. This feels really relaxing to drive. The one pedal driving mode works well as well, which is a good thing, since the actual brake pedal doesn't feel very natural you have to press harder than you might expect and it feels quite odd pushing the eqs hard in the corners also doesn't feel quite natural either it doesn't seem to break and turn like a normal car i guess you would just get used to that after a while though and the thing is is you don't really notice the car's weight when you're driving it normally you do feel it a little bit when you're taking corners quickly that's probably because they're really soft suspension but if you've just had enough what you can do is take advantage of this car's level three autonomous driving capabilities. Well, unless you live in the UK, where these systems aren't legal yet. They will be at some point though, meaning that you'll be able to take your hands off the wheel and let the car take control at speeds of up to 37 mile an hour while you watch the latest Auto Express video. While you're there, you can um, like and subscribe. Thank you. In the meantime, should we stop and have a look at the design? Because let's face it, it looks a bit blobby and I want to know why. Now it might just be me, but I actually think that the S-Class is just a little bit more stylish. There's something about this EQS that looks a bit like a snapping turtle, but there's good reason for that. You see, this is the world's most aerodynamic production car and you can see why, right? So around the front, 
the air hits the front of the car, it's just going to stick to the bodywork and glide all the way over the top, which is going to improve range. It's going to improve performance. Oh, shout out to the headlights. These are super snazzy. So each of them project millions of pixels to light up the road ahead. Just think, look so nice. Oh, and plus, it's not available here in the UK, but they can project symbols. So say you're driving and the road is icy, it can project a snowflake onto the floor, which is really cool. I don't see why you would use it, but I think it's quite cool. But the one thing that I think is going to be the headline grabber for this car is the MBUX Hyper Screen, which by the way, is bigger than my telly at home. Let me show you. Oh, you've really got to yank that by the way to open the door. <laughs> Look at this. I mean this, i switch this on. There we go. This is one continuous 55 inch screen. Okay, it's not a continuous screen, it's continuous glass separated into three screens. One for the driver, which has your instrument cluster on there. One for the passenger and the infotainment here in the middle, which, I mean, it just feels like you've stepped into the future, doesn't it? Don't get me wrong. This thing is going to cost you eight thousand pounds. Eight grand. You know what you can buy for eight grand? A 2015 Ford Fiesta. You can buy a whole car for the price of this, which is completely bonkers. But I'll tell you what you can't do in a Fiesta. You can't boss it around like you can in this, like this. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn on my heated seats. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Turn on my heated seats. I'm increasing the temperature to 26 degrees. That wasn't the seats though, was it? She just did the climate control. Okay, whatever. Uh, uh, hey, Mercedes. Hey, hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Open the driver door. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Open the driver door. I'm opening the driver's window. Oh, no, I the window open. I wanted the door open. It does actually open. But well, I hear it does open the door. Another cool thing fingerprint recognition. So you come in here, you put your finger on there and it registers that it's you. And what it does is it puts your seat in the perfect position. It could put on your favorite radio station and just make everything customed to your needs and what you want. When you're driving, it registers your eyelids. So it realizes when you're starting to feel a bit tired. So it tries to keep you awake. This car is that relaxing it has to stop you from falling asleep. 